Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. And today what I want to talk about is the dual wielding mechanic in Skyrim. And <clears throat> it's really fun for me actually using the dual wielding because I think one of the things that Skyrim does a little bit better than Oblivion is the amount of ways that you can play Skyrim. <clears throat> so, for example, when you play Oblivion, you have to have some kind of magic use in Oblivion. I mean, it's just, you have to, right? And I think in Skyrim, you know, you sometimes have to do the same, but definitely not to the degree that Oblivion is, and vice versa. If you want to go heavy magic, right, you don't have to use weapons in Skyrim. You really don't. I mean, maybe um, bows or, you know, maybe a little bit of melee, but you really don't need a lot of you know, physical damage based weapons, whereas in Oblivion, yeah, you go heavy magic, but you still have that dual, the, the two handed weapon or the shield sword combo. And in Skyrim, the dual wielding, it's really fun. It's nice to have a stamina based character, right? Oblivion was usually always either heavy into magic or heavy into HP, whichever one. Now with stamina, it's quite interesting. You have this fast-paced character, and you can't really take a lot of hits, but you can deal dish out a ton of DPS, and it's dual wield weapons, right? So you get rid of the ability to block, and what I noticed is, like, once I really started getting into dual wield weapons, my character would, like, stagger enemies. So you could time, like, a stagger attack, you know, with a dual wield power attack. And that stamina really plays like a very important role and in Skyrim you know blocking and bashing you know that's stamina based too I think it's more so with dual wielding more important because then if you put all your points into stamina you can dish out more shots but you can't tank as many hits and that's where I think um, it's really fun just to use dual wielding weapons and it's nice to combo you know, two different uh, things, two different enchants, right? Maybe, like, I, I know I have one where I'll use the, the Nightingale Blade, right? So it's absorb health and absorb stamina. And I can choose, you know, to pick another absorb health weapon, or I still haven't enchanted any of my weapons. You know, I could choose to dish out damage, you know, extra damage with, like, shock, right? or fire, or double up fire, double up shock, you know, you, even though you're using two weapons, two swords, two maces, a sword, a mace, you know, whatever, even if you're dealing with those double wielded weapons, you can still enchant them to counter mages, counter dual wielders, counter tanks, you know, you can still do it, and it's nice. You know, take definitely, you know, timing the shouts is important. I think that it's especially important against characters that can block, you know? Like, if someone can block, you, you, there's not much you can do. I find, like, I have different strategies, different combat styles versus different classes What if I'm using a one-handed and block versus two one-handed weapons, you know? So it's, it's very, very fun. I like the concept of it. It makes being an assassin way more engaging because now, instead of being a, an assassin really just means use a dagger and a shield and oblivion, now it's like, okay, double wield daggers, you know, get two good knives. And then if you get caught, get two good, maybe you want to use knives or something else, you know, get two good of something else. So it's really kind of nice to have this whole gear set. It makes you feel versatile, you know? And same goes, you know, the standard of you have your sword and your shield, your different swords or your different bases and your different shields. And I like, but I like that there's a, like a super attack focused meta that you can create in Skyrim. So that's really it for this video, guys. Just talking about dual wielding. I really like it. I like delving into it and getting good at it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Um, that's it. You can subscribe for more Skyrim videos. I'm Pacific Couch Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. If I ever decided to post Instagram. Whatever I decide to make.